So in this video, I'm not sure how I sound to you guys, but to me, I sound really stuffed up. So if I sound really stuffed up, I am, I promise. Or, or if I like do gross, sick sounding noises, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm, for those of you that saw my Facebook post, I'm still sick from that. Um, I don't have a fever anymore. My throat doesn't really hurt as bad anymore, but I'll get to that in a bit. Okay. So I'm going to start with the questions. Um, I liked that, uh, there were all, you know, even though it wasn't, you know, not everybody was in their right spot. I just forget what I said. Um, I liked how there was videos every day of the week this week. That was really nice to see. Um, I watched these all out of order, so they're out of order. Um, Olivia asked, what type of doctor treats you currently? What kind helps the most? Um, I have quite a few different doctors that I see regularly. Um, I have a pediatrician, um, and I have my neurologist, and I, I don't know if this, like, counts, but I also have my psychologist. I actually don't, or psychiatrist, I should say. I actually don't have a psychiatrist right now, but I'm, like, seeing one, being treated by one, or I was anyway. She just recent, my old psychiatrist just recently moved to a new place, so I can't see her, see her anymore. Um, so hopefully I'm going to a new lady soon. But the kind that helps me the most is definitely my neurologist. Um, I know Nina's seen Dr. Barboy, but he's so, he's, he's so good. Like, he's helped me out a lot. And you told me about this before, about your doctor, but oh my god, that woman is crazy. I don't know why you still see her. You should see someone different. You know, like, still continue to do the homeopathy, but, like, just see something, someone different, because she's crazy. And I hope you have fun in your castle. That's, that's crazy. Oh, my God. Um, so, yeah, have fun. Um, Emily, I really thought your intro was super cute. Um, I liked seeing all your videos and stuff and listening to you talk for on our first video. It was really sweet. Um, and I'm so, so happy to hear that you're doing really well. And I'm also super excited for you that you might actually be going to Montreal. That's so cool. And it's really cool for me, too, because I've been there, so I can, like, you know, kind of, like, picture it. So I really hope you get to go. Um, and her question was, how much do you eat? Like a lot of people said, too much, way too much. Um, and I'm also not a healthy eater at all. I mean, like, I do eat healthy sometimes. I'd say it's about half and half of healthy versus unhealthy, which is not good. Um, I think, like Stacy said, I should I should do something about that. But like Stacy also said, I've also put on weight because of it, so I should probably do something about that. But I don't want to. So, yep, that's that. Stacy, um, I, you should have seen me when you were like, you got me hooked on, on Kyle and Mitchell. I'm like, yes, I created the lava head. That's awesome. And, um, I, the, 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 yeah, my sign poster is awesome. I love it. I love it. Um, you should have seen me, uh, like when they, when he first announced that they were doing it, I was like, oh my god! I have to get one, and literally, I bought the second one, because on my poster, there were only 200 of them, and he numbered them, and I got 199 out of 200, which would make sense, because if he's signing them, he's putting number one on the bottom, and then so on, so I got, like, the second one, I ordered the second one, so, yeah, um, and I'm, I'll, more on this, just in a sec, I want to answer your question first, I'm so sorry that you're having family troubles, um, it makes me really sad to hear that things are not going well. And her question was, what's the highest slash lowest your heart rate has ever gone? My heart rate actually is pretty stable. 
Um, I'm on a beta blocker, so my heart rate stays low. It's usually around 70. I don't know what the lowest it's gone is. Probably not very, you know, either 60 or 50, I would guess. I don't really take my heart rate that much, so I'm not sure. Um, the highest it's ever gone, it hasn't gone very high that I've noticed. Um, the highest one that I can remember is like 130, 140, but that was when I was working out. So, um, and Stacy, just a few minutes ago, you posted something in our Facebook group, and I won't, I won't say it in this video because I'm not sure if you want the general public to know, but I know because you posted it in our group, I know the girls know, um, but I just, right now, I'm so upset for you. I, I don't know what you're feeling right now. I don't know what's going through your mind right now, but I'm so very upset. And I'm so sorry that you have to go through what you're going through. Nobody should have to deal with that. And I really hope everything works out, you know, for for the best. And I hope that things get better and that um, you can stay strong. And, oh, God, um, it's just so ridiculous that you have to go through that because you, you are one of the people that I know that deserve – you know, the best of everything. You are so hardworking. You are so deserving of the best, but it just seems like you're having such a tough time, and that's not, it's not fair at all. And I wish, I wish there was something I could do to help you out. So that's, that's all I have to say, and just remember that you're beautiful, and I love you, and I'm always, always, always here for you. Um, if for some reason you ever wanted to talk on the phone, I'm available for that. Um, just, you know, Facebook message me, whatever, whatever you need. Um, Millie, I'm so sorry to hear that you're not feeling well. Um, and I hope that by the time you make video tomorrow, you're feeling better. Um, and her question was, what do you do in your spare time at the ER? Like Caroline said, I'm so lucky I have not had to go to the ER for an extended amount of time. I've only been there once, and it was the children's ER, so it was pretty nice. Um, we waited for a long time. We waited for about, like, two hours, and luckily nobody was, like, super sick. I was probably the one who was, who was scaring people because I was having a panic attack the whole time, and I was, like, freaking out and crying, and, like, oh, it was not fun. This was back when I first got sick, um, like, two months after I got sick. So, yeah, um, and then when I got in to the room, there was a girl who was, like, I don't know, she was having issues down there or something, and she was, like, screaming, and, um, I couldn't, I was so, like, panicked and anxious that I couldn't even talk to the, <laughs> to the doctor about what was going on. Did I tell you guys this? I feel like I've told you guys this, but when I went to the ER, I had a resident that looked exactly like JD from Scrubs. It was ridiculous. Uh, if you guys don't, if there are some of you who don't know what Scrubs are, just go to Google Images and type in Scrubs, like, TV show, if it, for some reason, you know, it doesn't work, and you'll see, but, oh my god, it was, it was crazy. Um, Nina, I just wanted to, in the beginning of your video, you were talking about Twittering, and I'm not sure, you know, if you're talking about the website, but if you do have a Twitter, you should definitely... Um, leave a comment telling me what your Twitter is because I have a Twitter and I'd like to follow you. You know, you don't have to follow me if you don't want to, but I'd like to follow you. Um, and I was just, you should have seen me when you were like, I planted 250 tulips and they multiply each year. Oh my God. How many tulips do you have, girl? That's crazy. I'd love to see a picture sometime if, if, um, you know, you can. And it, it was just really great to see you. I really enjoyed watching your video because you're so just upbeat and positive and everything. And her question was, what would you do for a Klondike bar? That was pretty great. So that was that was good. That was very good. Um, hmm, what would I do for a Klondike bar? I think I would give up my computer for a month for a Klondike bar. I think that's what I would do because... I'm not into wrestling gorillas or going up Mount Everest. <laughs> Anyways. Um, and I can't imagine not eating for three months. Like, that's insane. And I'm really, like, I don't know. 
proud of you for, you know, pulling through it. I don't know. That's not really the right word, but I found it kind of funny when you're like, I'm being fed through my arm. I hope it doesn't grow teeth. It's kind of funny. Um, and you posted today that you're getting surgery today, I think. I think it was today. No, what, you know, whenever you're getting surgery, I prayed for you, and I hope that everything goes perfectly and that it fixes your paralysis like it's supposed to. So good luck, and I love you. Um, Caroline, you're talking about when you are nauseous or sick, that food smells make you cringe. Oh, my God, it's the same thing for me. If I'm feeling nauseous and somebody's making food, I have to either, like, tell them to go away or I have to go somewhere else because it's so bad. Um, and I'm not sure what – okay, this is the part that I got kind of confused on because you had, like, this – either it was a sweater or just, like, a blanket, like a knitted blanket on it. But whatever it was, I really liked the colors on it, and I wanted to tell you. And um, when you edited in the, the part because your camera was cutting out, the music scared me. I, like, jumped because I was kind of kind of zoning out. Like, I was still listening, but I was just kind of relaxed. And all of a sudden, this loud music comes up, and I'm like, okay. Her question was, what is your favorite music video right now? Um, one you guys probably have not heard of, unless you're a YouTube nerd like me. Um, it's a song called Masquerade by um, Le Leela Broussard. Um, I'll put a link down below, and it's not an official music video. It's just a music video that some YouTubers did, um, and I really enjoy it. So, And then I also, this is kind of my guilty pleasure right now. Um, normally, I'm not really a fan of Nicki Minaj, but I really like her song in the video for Super Bass. So I like that one, too. Um, so then my question is, how since I'm sick with a cold right now, my question is, how often do you get sick with non-pot related stuff? Like, you know, stuff like that all, everybody gets, like colds, flus, infections, you know, whatever. I actually don't get sick with stuff like this that often, or at least this severe that often. I get sick, I would say, maybe, excuse me, once a month. So, I, I mean, I guess I have a fairly good immune system, because I know there are some people who, like, get sick super easy. Anyways, this video is already really long. It's probably going to be over 15 minutes, but you know what? Oh, and I just wanted to say that I'm glad that you guys think that I should do a new intro. So I'll message you guys on Facebook about that so we can talk about it. Um, okay, so my week. Friday, like I said, I went to the concert. It was Friday for, I think it was Stacy that was wondering. Um, it was Friday. We went to the concert. We got there really early, and we were like... I don't know, like the 10th people in line or something like that. The concert was not big at all. There was maybe 75 to 100 people there, which is really small. But it was really fun that way. And we were in the front row, which was super awesome. Um, so we were, you know, we were right there. We weren't in the center, but we were still in the front row. So, um, yeah, it was pretty awesome. If you guys want to see pictures, they're on my Facebook. So, and then after the show, um, we met Stereo Skyline. Um, that's who, for those of you who have me on Facebook, that's what my profile picture is. We also met, um, me and my friend, we met the entire, we met Family Force 5 in its entirety, that's better. Um, so yeah, that was really awesome. I don't know, I'll stand up so you guys can see, but I got, my friend bought me this shirt. So, yep. Um, and they signed the back of it too, but I don't really, I can't really show you guys that right now. So, yep. Um, but yeah, before the concert, like I said, we were out there, it was, we waited for like an hour and a half before the show started, it was 50 degrees outside, and for those of you who, you know, talk in Celsius, that's 10 degrees Celsius, it was cold, it was very cold, it was so cold that normally my feet start to hurt after I've been standing for a while, hour and a half later, felt nothing, but when I got into the, to the building and got warmed up again, then my feet started to hurt. But anyways, I started not feeling well then. Um, like, my throat started to hurt. Saturday was bad. <laughs> I was very sick. Like I said to you guys on Facebook, um, I'm, I was really sick. Um, I had a fever of 100 degrees. For those of you, again, who are in Celsius, that's 37.7 degrees, which, you know, it's relatively high, but it's not super high. 
I also had really bad body aches, and I'd like to say thank you to Emily for helping me out. I felt so much better after I did what you said. Um, a stuffed up nose, which I am still sporting, and a sore throat. Um, my throat is really only sore in the mornings now. So Sunday, I just spent the day recovering from being sick, and I went to pick up my prom dress from the tailors because we had taken it there a week prior. So that was pretty cool. And I'm happy that I got it all fixed up. So, yeah. Um, Monday, I stayed home from school, did nothing. I slept for like six hours, which was not a good idea. But, you know, Tuesday, I went back to school. And I don't know if you noticed, but um, I don't have any more nasty dark roots anymore. So, yeah, uh, Tuesday, I bleached my hair for the first time. And then after it dried, I got it washed out and it dried, I noticed that I had missed some spots. So Wednesday, yesterday, I bleached it again and got rid of those spots. So that's why it looks ridiculous, ridiculously bright up here. Um, I'm going to probably dye it tomorrow. Um, and Wednesday, I also graduated from group therapy after two years, finally. <laughs> um, and, yeah, so it was, it was bittersweet for me. I mean, I'm excited to be done after two years and have my Wednesdays free again, but um, I'm really going to miss, you know, all the girls, all the friends that I've made through there. And they gave me this bracelet as my graduation present, and it's backwards. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it, was, it was really sad. Um, there, me and my friend were graduating together because we've been through the, the whole thing together. Like, we, we started when the group started, and it's been two years. So, yeah. Yep. Today, I took, I don't know if you guys remember me talking about this, but I took the AP Chem test because my school was like, you have to take it because we didn't think, we thought that you were taking it, even though missing most of the semester of school, um, you know, wasn't enough indication to say that you weren't taking it, but whatever. So I took it. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with AP testing, it's on a five-point scale. One is the lowest. I would not be surprised if I got a one. Not at all. Um, in the multiple choice, I was kind of like, oh, you know, this is going okay. You know, there's a few questions that I don't get. Like, you know, I don't know what's going on. But then when I got to the short answer, and the first question was, they were, it was nothing that I knew. I was just literally, I just sat there for like three minutes and just looked at it. I'm like, I, that's literally what I did. It was ridiculous. Um, so there's a little part of me, the little optimistic part of me, that's like, maybe you got it too, you know. But if I get anything over a two, I will be completely shocked. But that's not going to happen. So. And Saturday is prom. So I'm super excited for that. I don't, I'm not going with a date or anything like that. So I don't get all excited about that. But I'm still really, really excited about it. So, yep. Yeah. That's everything. This video is entirely too long. I talk too much. Ah! So I'm sorry that I wasted 18 minutes of your life. Um, and I will talk to you guys next week. And I love you all so much. And, okay.